I'm Matanya Horowitz. I'm the founder and CEO here at AMP Robotics. Uh, and what we're doing at AMP is developing robotic systems to solve some of the primary challenges in the recycling business. Uh, so the reason robots haven't been present in the recycling industry before is because every piece of material is at least a little different. You know, every piece is smashed or folded or dirty in some way. And that inconsistency between objects prevented <clears throat> uh, computer vision technology from being used for recycling uh, until the last several years. What has changed is that artificial intelligence and more specifically a set of algorithms called deep learning allow these systems to learn from experience uh, and by showing them millions of examples of bottles and cans and everything else from these recycling streams we've been, we've been able to teach our robots how to identify each of these objects That's really the central value of these robots is in their consistency. So the main problem these recycling facilities face is that many are run understaffed. They actually can't get enough people to do these jobs. It's uh, fairly unpleasant in these facilities. It smells kind of bad. It's very dusty. Um, it's very noisy. It's, it's sort of all the things that you think of that make a bit of an unpleasant uh, work situation. And as a result, they're not able to extract the full value out of the recycling stream that they otherwise would if they were fully staffed. <clears throat> and so a lot of these facilities see robots as a tool to allow them to, to basically fully staff the facility and fill those spots that people really don't want to work at. This is even more true uh, during uh, the pandemic where in addition to all the regular hazards and all the regular unpleasantness of the sorting tasks, uh, people are afraid to go through the, the trash stream. Uh, they would, you can imagine is that some of this material may have come from infected houses and it might only be a couple hours old. Additionally, even if you're not worried about the packaging, a lot of these facilities weren't designed with social distancing in mind and so the people are really packed shoulder to shoulder. So another benefit of the robots is that it gives these facilities flexibility in figuring out how they want to deploy people. So one perspective on what happened with the United States and, and Western Europe's recycling streams is that recycling, recycling requires the sortation of material. And so the most efficient way to do this was to basically take this material and then ship it to, um, to poorer nations where the cost of labor was lower. And so they were using low cost labor to sort this stuff out. <clears throat> um, part of the reason though is, is that in many of these countries they had uh, poor waste management infrastructure so their cost of disposal once they separated stuff out they would take the gar the stuff that was actually garbage um, and they wouldn't dispose of it properly so your cost of disposal is very cheap if you basically just throw it in a river um, in the united states you'd have to actually put it in a landfill and there those things are regulated and, and stuff like that so you were more or less outsourcing labor and disposal and so in recycling what you see is a lower cost of sorting now makes it so that we can have uh, that edge that these lower labor cost nations had in sortation, that starts to disappear. And so domestic processing of the material um, can start to be a more viable uh, opportunity. And that, that was a trend that was happening even before um, uh, COVID, COVID hit. Um, and that's something that we think is really exciting. If we can make it so that sorting is so cheap that you can do it domestically. It does create these local sources of supply. It also makes a healthier industry. Um, you cut down on the cost, both in monetary, both monetary and uh, environmental, of transporting this stuff all over the place. Uh, and these are all very good things that should help the recycling industry.